I, my, like I say, like my final exam is in April 22nd and I start directly start my master program at May the 4th, somewhere like a Monday. <laughs> in the beginning of the May, I cannot really remember which day, but I start my master program just directly after I graduate, even I do not receive my confirmation letter from Bell House <laughs> to say I'm graduate. Like, but yeah, uh, I do master of finance and accounting in University of Toronto now. And that program is a CPA and CFA combined program. And I just done my final exam for my summer term this Monday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's very oh. happy. Today. Oh, okay. So you didn't even get your confirmation of graduation. You finished your last exam on the 28th. You start in a whole new province in a master's program, May the 4th. Like, and you just wrote your final exam. So you have definitely, um, you know, had a very eventful, very eventful summer. And I definitely want to dig into that. Um, I guess first, like, what was like what was it like landing in like or la you know being in Toronto like with all of that like when was your first time that you were able to like go to dinner or do something like social with your group or see the city or like what was that first thing like because Toronto is not like Halifax it's a little different yeah it's super big and I do not know how to drive so <laughs> I'm not a driver and I do not have lessons <laughs> so most of the time I depend on Uber or my friends or bus <laughs> yeah and I live in Scarborough and so yeah and most of the time I stay in Scarborough and Markham but yeah for because like the downtown Toronto is too far away yeah. from where I live to the downtown Toronto I think I need to spend like at least 30 minutes for the for the Uber for taxi not yeah. only for so how is Scarborough is that similar size to Halifax like does it feel closer to Halifax or I think it's still very it's bigger and it's more con because I found Toronto is like they center us in the Toronto city and expand to the city around the Toronto so yeah the city around city of Toronto is always very old also yeah. very complex and very comprehensive and big because the highway is linked all the things together. And it, yeah, I just moved from Halifax and yeah, I found at first, I found the, the, the life path in here, the speed, I speed it up really. Yeah. <laughs> because I'm from the capital of China I'm from Beijing and Beijing is also very, very busy. And I got in Halifax when I was an undergrad. And at that time, I, still, I found everything slowed down. And I cannot like figure out how can I spend my life. But when I like figured out how can I spend my life in Halifax and I got in Toronto and the past it off yeah. and I feel okay <laughs> and, and, I, and yeah at least I use like two week two weeks to just to normalize that <laughs> so yeah sometimes <laughs> it's a little bit hard but yeah I just do some when I feel very uh, very I don't know what to do or I feel a little bit confused about what my life Normally I just do some reading or hang out with my friend because my friends, they, some of them are come from Toronto and they know how to live in here and they give me a lot of suggestion. So at that time I feel pretty good. And I said, okay, the city is like that. Okay, the city, the people in this city is like that. And when I take the Uber, <laughs> the driver also sometimes get chat with me. <laughs> and, I, and I know something about the city and I know because some Uber driver, they are also international and yeah. they got very, some similar experience with me. And I, some chat is very valuable for me. And I found they got like similar sense 
and I can sometimes copy paste <laughs> their, yeah. their sense or their feelings. Yeah, so it's very like for me, I found if you get into a city that you are not very familiar with, I, you can just go out and chat with some people <laughs> in the city. So I, for me, I it's like that. I love that. And would you say that by nature you are introverted or extroverted? Because I, I have a guess, but. Yeah, I thought I'm in the middle. <laughs> yeah, because sometimes I feel if, if the environment or atmosphere, I feel not very comfortable or I'm not very, like I'm a county student and I learn finance and I'm very sensitive on data. If this, I got into some networking or I get into some situation that I, this field, I can say something or I got very familiar with, I will talk a lot and I want to sharing. But if I got into an event that do not, I do not have too many background or let's say maybe you, you hit me into uh, like a, in the biology event. <laughs> I feel like, okay, I will not speak. I will just stay there and listen. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, I love it. I love, I love the advice on how to get acclimated uh, in, a, in a jiffy because yeah, if uh, I have to say that you have probably one of the tightest turnarounds that I've ever heard of. So if you can do it, uh, I'm convinced that other people can make that transition and, and make it happen that, that quick. So Julu, I want to 